Friends beyond the binary, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the podcaster that hopes, I really hope I'm creating a good place to sleep, but actually I would go for like pretty decent place to sleep. You say, well, it's pretty not bad. Uh, the pretty not bad place, uh, the place pretty decent and okay. Better, I feel better than tepid about sleep with me. Slightly better than tepid, uh, and I'm not sure what, tur- not turgid, because I think that has something to do with water. Uh, so, and also when the podcaster starts talking soon, he doesn't even know what he's saying, because it's time for Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. So thanks for being here, and here's the ways, these sponsors are how I'm able to be here for you for free twice a week. Thanks. All right, everybody, it's Scoots here, and we're, we're back in the good place. So who would have thought we'd be back in the good place out of order? But what, there's no better time to be in the good place than when things seem out of order. And what a treat to rewatch this episode three or four times. Each time I picked up on more and more jokes and little details. But it was also nice just to get back with the Soul Squad and see everybody. And really to buckle my seatbelt for Michael, since we've since I've always already seen all four seasons, rewatching season two and seeing where Michael's at at the beginning of the season, it just really I say I can't wait to see how this unfolds. But yes, yeah, so we watched just season two, episode one. Everything is great. I'm starting it up here on my um, thingamajig. It's not starting though, but. Uh, It'll eventually start, maybe. No, it doesn't want to work with me. So let's do this. We'll run through the notes. It's downloaded. Very interesting. Um, let's see. It starts with last season, good place, soulmate, cheaty, hug, truth, and not supposed to be here. Tian, Tian, Tahani and Jianyu, Jason, real name. Eleanor tells the community, Sean, or something, bad place. Oh, bad, Sean says a bad place is owed two people. This is the bad place. A reversal? Reveal. Oh, that's the reveal. Yeah, basic. A uh, quick question mark. Uh, oh, something, Eleanor. You're, you're in the big farm. Cool. Why don't you introduce your soulmate? The soulmate looks like a football player. Or I think he was the sexy mailman. But he looks like, why can't I ever remember the football player's name? Oh, I just remembered it and forgot it in the same span. It's a football player I like, a Green Bay Packers quarterback. And I think he was, he, I think he went to Cal Berkeley and was Cal Berkeley's quarterback. And for some reason, in the history of liking this uh, football player, I still can't remember his name. So if you're from Green Green Bay and you got to stop, you know, give up on the podcast, I get it. Uh, um, let's see. Truth Block Workout. Uh, Janet Not Something. Cheaty. What the fork. I also drew a layout of Eleanor's apartment. I'm pretty sure it's the same because there's the... Uh, Performing characters, uh, the performing characters uh, the, that uh, get out of a tiny car together with giant shoes. So our front door is on the left. Then on one wall are three portraits with a bench, like a, a gallery bench. Then a right angle wall, two more portraits, and then a lucite box with like a deconstructed uh, small car performer. And then the chapters 14 and 15. So the first episode's always a double episode. Or not always. I think Michael does some self-talk. Sean comes up. And Michael's desk is very clear. There's three pawns on the left. Uh, a bowl of some sort. Uh, his desk set with the blotter and the pens and the notepad. And then a dragonfly on the left side of his desk for Eleanor. He talks about coffee and pods, new something, new salads, new so, some something. Trust me, boss. Uh, bitter sons, cockamamie. 
I don't think that's bitter buns, biller sons. It looks like bitter sons, cockamamie. Oh, billion sons. Uh, town rehearsal meeting. Really nice, a deep purple pocket square. Plaid pastel bow tie on a white background or a cream background. Chuck, question mark. Real Eleanor versus Denise. Both have these. Something. Shrimp and frog recap. Both these things. Uh, tries to inspire them. Stupid elbows. Bell. Open. The good place. Uh, Eleanor has a note. Joey. Jamie. J uh, jazz. What we owe each other. GD equals soup? Question mark. Umbrella alley sign. Nina and Bart or Borf? I think it was Borf. I think it's Bart. Nina and Bart, maybe. Phone book, no phones. Hawaiian pizza stand. People are like nature's apps. Nina, bye bye. Runs into Jason. No talk. It gives her a gear. Oh, it's Hawaii Five Dough is the Hawaiian restaurant. Hawaiian pizza restaurant. Michael and Eleanor, we know, but you, number one point getter, best person, Sash, Eleanor and, I don't know what this says, Jessica, the host, uh, Amy, oh yeah, that's Amy, is uh, Amy, our favorite, uh, from uh, one of our favorite web shows, uh, uh, no wine. Eleanor and people, something's off. Um, no, no to bar. Forget it. Cheaty gives them to, oh, she, she hears Cheaty. She gives the shots to somebody, question mark. Hi. Cheaty's got a nice shirt on. We need to talk, and it goes to an ad. So let's, uh, let's run it for a little while and see what we see here. Get the subtitles on. All right, last season on The Good Place, we see Eleanor's eyes open. She's got a plaid flannel on. Takes a deep breath. Uh, Chidi is my soulmate. Hug. Stand by my side. Of course I will. I'm not supposed to be here. Tahani and Johnny are holding hands. She, she boops Eleanor. You booped me. Then they're in the bud hole. What's up, homie? Problem in the neighborhood is me. Sean, bad place, two people, who's going? Uh, ho holy mo mother forking, shirt balls. Uh, this is the bad place. Michael does his laugh. Except for you four, everybody works here. And Eleanor says, you saw us all on earth. The selfish DJ, academic fraud. You thought we'd torture each other. The only thing you did was bring us together. That's it. My big mistake uh, is uh, having you be soulmates and live near each other. Eleanor's pretty pleased with herself. So then he goes, next time I'll do a slow burn. She, uh, she, he goes, okay, I got to ask my boss. So, so Eleanor writes a note to herself, uh, puts it in Janet's mouth. Uh, you basic. Michael snaps. Eleanor's eyes open again. This is the new season, but it's, uh, like, done quick. I like how they did it, too. I think it maybe it was from last season. I don't know. Guy takes off his shirt a lot, goes to the gym, see you soon. Janet gives you her note back. Fine, cheaty. What's a cheaty? Why can't I say fork? I can see a nice, some nice plants. We get a zoom out of her place. Chapters 14 and 15. Michael. Okay, here we go, Michael. Pull it together. Confidence. Sean comes up. Hey, hey. No, no chit-chat. Are you ready? Michael says, don't worry, boss. I got it under control. I got a dragonfly on my desk now. I mean, it's a statue. All the coffee's in little pods. Sean glares. Uh, 
They'll have new soulmates that work for us. I uh, thought of everything. Won't let you down. I think you will. Not in a billion suns are you going to succeed or something. You'll be retired. Oh, yeah, he's going to live on a billion suns. Cockamamie experiment. Colossal failure. Totally do. And then there's a sequence of Michael doing a rehearsal. People have questions. Uh, we're not pairing them up. Because, I mean, this is, like, actually really good because these are regularly underworld workers. Uh, they're all outside of their comfort zone. And Michael's, you know, going for this experiment. Um, and then he makes a metaphor that uh, that dude does it, takes it the wrong way, Chuck. Then Vicky, she's character, she's character driven. You know, I was a real Eleanor. Now I got to be Denise. You know, who is she? What does she want? Why is she here? Is she quirky? Is she sultry? Uh, Michael says both those things. Uh, then Chuck kind of has a repeating joke, at least this episode. Michael says, just pay pay attention. We just got to get Eleanor drunk so we can do this chaos sequence from when she was drunk in her dreams. Um, so she wakes up, you know, like with the flying shrimp and the frog and stuff. Remember that? She stole the shrimp and uh, we had him fly around. Some people laugh and raise their eyebrows. Uh, we want her to, you know, be worried about being found out. I know this isn't the kind of stuff we normally do. It's not how you're trained. And there'll be days when you're sick of each trying to, you know, sick of their elbows, being human, fed up. Uh, I need you to dig deep here. Can't we just go back to HQ? He doesn't want them to give up. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. He goes, no, no. It's time for change. It's time to rearrange. You know, we're not going to flatten anything out. Uh this is a better way. That's why we're all here. We believe that. Uh, new way to make uh, put humans outside of their comfort zone. And he goes, all right, ready? One, two, three. Everybody cheers. Michael kicks his leg. Then the title card comes up. Good place. Uh, and then we see Eleanor find a cheaty. She tries to call Janet back, but she forgot Janet's name. Joey, Janine, Yaya, Jaja, Yaya. And she goes, well, I don't ever listen. Okay, and we can see her decorations. Who or what are you, Chidi? She says. Then uh, she's walking through Town Square, Umbrella Alley. She meets Nina and Bart, Bart. They try to get her to go to get pizza with them. Love it. You know, where are you from? Oh, well, I'm from Mozambique. Uh, anyway, what about a phone book? No phones. Uh, so probably no phone book. Okay. Um, and then she says, okay, well. She kicks her head back. A lot of great motion, a lot of kinetic motion. Somebody even had a frisbee in their hand. Other people have drinks, flowers. Maybe we could get some pizza. A lot of great body language from Bart and Nina. Check you later, Nina and Bill or whatever. Bye. She goes into square. She runs into Jason. So this is kind of like everything is connected in the... Uh, Oh, there's even pinwheels I just saw. Those look really good. I don't think decorating with pinwheels would be a thing, but it could be. She Michael's, Michael shows up. What are you doing? Eh, just meeting people. Who's the uh, person in night, nightgown? Jianyu, a uh, monk that never speaks. Uh, Taiwanese. Might be hard to get to know him. Eleanor, I know, you know, you're the best. You're the top. Could you, oh, he asked her to make a speech tonight. Maybe just an hour or something to inspire everybody. There's just a faint breeze, too. I don't know if that's, like, planned or it was just uh, inconvenient. Uh, but it does add some extra motion to their hair, which I think looks good. Uh, Eleanor was a, supposedly 
uh, an environmental activist. Uh, check the neighbor. Oh, uh, yeah, could you say a few words? Then he's like, I got you a gift. He hands her like one of those long flower boxes. How could I say no? I don't think I can. I'd say no. She does say no, but Michael doesn't listen to her. That might be her first clue that something's not right. And then they're taking, to, oh, it looks like a recycled paper box. You got to be forking kidding me. Best person, Sash. She's with her soulmate again. Oh, I almost said his name. Aaron Rodgers, that's his name. He's like a young Aaron Rodgers, this, this, this young man. And a little bit. I mean, not exactly. But, yeah, he's talking about how good he is. Then he says, I got to go to the gym. Rips his shirt off. He's in, in amazing shape. Holy cow. Then Amy O shows up. Uh, El- oh, Jessica, I mean. She says, uh, hey, you want, how about some wine there? I'm the host. This is my house. A uh, little liquid courage. Eleanor says, probably not a good idea. I got to make a speech. She goes, yeah, usually I do, but uh, uh, she tells, you know, she drops some great jokes. Uh, but right now, I can't do it. I don't know. Then Eleanor's uh, ta- talking, they're saying, hey, don't ask me questions about who I am or being an environmental activist. Uh, they say, you want any more drinks, Eleanor? Margarita? Nah. She goes, I'm good. No, I'm best. Uh, she walks off. Everyone's like, what's up with this? Uh, and how are we going to get her drunk? What are we going to do? Eleanor goes to the bar. She's contemplating. And then she says, okay, maybe I'll have a couple of tequila shots. Then she sees a giant shrimp. Michael's pleased as she pours four. She gets ready to go, but then someone says, Hey, Cheaty, don't make this harder than it is. They walk off. Uh, Eleanor passes the shots to a mysterious person off screen. Says, Hey, are you Cheaty? Yeah. Oh, so you're not a soup. I knew it. She says, Listen up. I'm Eleanor Shell Strap. Uh, we got to talk. That's, that's the ad. Uh, all right, so it goes to an ad, and then we'll go back to my notes. Chidi wakes up. Uh, he's called in, but the dragonfly on Michael's desk, uh, the statue, has moved. Uh, soulmates talk and walk. Uh, soulmate will be... Bodle? Elements of happiness shop. Uh, blankets shop? Uh, question mark? GD has this long, cool beans. He says, cool, long, and beans are really short. I really like that. Uh, trust me. You get a, one of many full cheaty moments, uh, which is that's one there. Pants tough to talk to like a scooter. Uh, oh, Pavita. Pavita is just like me. Uh-huh. No. This is what I'm like, unfortunately. I, I, like I say, what's Scooter like uh, socially? I'd say, what, well, cue up a Vita, because that's exactly what I'm like. I wish I had, uh, I remember being, even being somewhere, a professional event, and someone saying, what do you like to do? Uh, and I said, nothing. Mm. Uh. And then they said, I got to go. And I said, yeah, don't worry, I've been there. Uh, Denise watches, very irritated. Michael shows up, uh, awkward, party, fun, fun, N- nay, increases. Uh, oh, yeah, I think he says something like that. We'll see. Cheaty gold, more cheaty gold. Cheaty, limping Denise, uh, Angelique, uh, looks, looks into meeting Eleanor. Hi. What down low talk? Uh, sorry. Michael's speech time. Then we go to Tahani sequence. Tahani, good place. Uh, Tomas, a short uh, swell house, red. Get rid of second floor. Self portrait of Camilla. 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 Uh, 
Comfort over style, dress down, pl plumber ass, uh, tonal, I don't know what this says, tonal recap, uh, cl oh, this is other things, clog, clog wench, uh, a toilet something, crocs have holes in them, so you can feel the breeze, suboptimal, house and small, Cries, she cries on cargo pants, which is great. Or whimpers. Uh, system is never wrong. Private moon. No, no changes needed. Tahani goes to the bar. Eleanor gives her the shots. Uh, Gulen says we're cargo pant, cargo pant buddies. Uh, Crocs also speech time. Take it away, Eleanor. Tower of shrimp behind her. Uh, drunk to honey. Terrible placement angle. <laughs> Terrible placement and angle on her sash. Uh, this is her first time wearing it. Yeah. Get her off the stage. Uh, Jianyu. Uh, in a vow of silence, yurt in a garden. Oh, so this is a Jason sequence. Soulmate, his eyebrows go up on best bud, really good. Oh, Luong, eating from bowl with no spoon. Rock drawings, uh, Bur beetle bard, birdie. Go get us some kites. Yeah, it says bike barn. Bike ride? I don't know. It takes off his thing, hands it to, takes off a gear, hands it to Eleanor. Berkey, Dard, bike, I don't know. Rides off by, but he's there back at the yurt eating. Then they either eating, then they go to the party. Janet shows up, yaks milk. Uh, please sees Eleanor and shots. Uh, Yank milk out. Uh, Tahani's speech. Are you all right? Gian, you sneaks out. Uh, there's a shrimp in my cargo pants. What the fork? Then there's an ad. Then we come back. Michael and Sean do a recap. Uh, so cozy or something. Two yaks milk. Uh, no talk uh, to the bar. Thumbs up, uh, Denise talks, Eleanor walking around, you don't keep a Ferrari in the garage, Denise says, limp, uh, limp your heart out, Eleanor not drinking, Tahani, shrimp down, Jason out, cheating Eleanor out, I know that, something, bring Something we know, we know each other. Oh, I know that book. Uh, I'll brag much. Uh, what we owe each other. Something we owe each other. No, not, not, not interested. Uh, Michael meeting. Uh, he meets with the team. You ding dong. Push back, all talk, no twisting. Right, no find hours. Chidi and Eleanor, nice leather coat. Ah, almond milk. Uh, figure it out, son, or something. Cobblestone streets, Jason and Janet. Uh, hug. Yogurt, oh, fog. Yogurt, boundless void. She repeats it back to him. Really good listening skill. I know something. Hug, okay, hug. Oh, I know somewhere. I said, where does she know where he can go? Michael shows up. Nice uh, stripe uh, something, his pocket square. Tahani shows up. Apologies. Something has been off. Uh, that's her soulmate? Janet brings in Jason. Homie, no. Eleanor breaks it all down. Jackie, Janet. Uh, Michael does his... Uh, EVIL laugh, impossible, and re re something, explanation. Next time, not going to work. This time, snaps uh, back to town square, big purple tie. 
No notes or clues. Everyone well dressed. Did you tell Sean? Vicky's hand raised. It gets ignored. Michael sits down with his uh, recorder, and then Sean FaceTimes in, and then Sean con on in. So let's see what actually happened. <laughs> All right, so we start with Cheedy. He wakes up. He's got a short-sleeved kind of uh, pinkish, corally shirt on. Really nice. Uh, can't wait to have breakfast with some philosophers. No philosophers here. Uh, philosophers uh, didn't do so hot in the, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? And GD says, oh, no. Uh, Michael says, oh, yeah, it's clever how they deal with them, too. Uh, it's like one of those dreams where you show up at school without the clothes on, take a test in a class you haven't been to. And then, you know, not clever part after that. Uh, point is, GD, you're better than all of them. Chidi smiles, uh, then he said, I can't believe soulmates are real. My soulmate could be books. That's what I forgot. It's coming up here. I don't need a soulmate. My soulmate will be books. Elements of happiness store. Somebody else with a um, frisbee, I noticed. Uh, multiple soulmates. Uh, it's we got to figure it out. Normally, you just have one. Uh, you're matched up. Uh, this game, you, we got a kind of a four-way thing we got to figure out. Rare occurrence like a double rainbow. Or someone on the internet saying, you know what? You convinced me I'm wrong. So how do I choose? Uh, I don't choose. You choose, Chidi. Oh, no. That's Chidi's worst nightmare. Angelique, Pedro, and Pavita. So all, any of you could be matched. Uh, so why don't you go on a double date and, and then a single date and we'll see what works out. Uh, that's when he says, cool beans. Uh, and he says, Michael, I can't make decisions. Uh, it's not my strong suit. Uh, and he goes, yeah, I remember the make your own Sunday bar. And she just says, yeah, you can't have chocolate and fruit together, man. Chocolate palette or fruit palette. Kiwi junior mint raisin. That's what you can end. No. Michael says, I can't choose for you. You got to choose yourself. Uh, make your decision. Trust me. I wouldn't do, you know, I wouldn't put you in an awkward place. Uh, so I don't know if that was another clue. And then Michael does something behind Chidi's back. They're having slices of Hawaiian. And then uh, Chidi and Angelique are talking. They have a great convo. They have definitely, like, what do you call this? Je ne sais pas, like, uh, what do you call that, rapport? I mean, some of it's loaded. She says, oh, yeah, I was studying cultural relativism and moral absolutism uh, in Brisbane. Uh, and and uh, Locke and Kant. And she goes, oh, I'd love to read your paper. It's a great pairing. And I want to read it so bad. So that's when we get our first really where it's shining. Uh, and then Angelique's like, scoots, uh, hmm. Morocco? No. Ain't been anywhere else? Uh, not really. And then she just says, okay, who's, who likes who? Because I think I know who I'd like. Uh, and Angelique says, Chidi, I'd like to hear who you like, I uh, think, is your soulmate. So it's actually a brilliant small sequence because Chidi actually makes a decision. Denise is rolling her eyes in the background. But before he says it, of course, uh, uh, as he says it, my soulmate is Angelique. Michael shows up and says, actually, you're matched. Uh, it is Bavita and Chidi. It was uh, some sort of time flux thing. So, sorry, uh, we got it all together. And it's definitive, 100% correct. Uh, and when you think about that, the three other performers are acting, uh, act, like acting within acting. I think it's a really good job. Because they kind of exchange some looks. Uh, though I do get the sense Angelique, is she's either so good at acting as acting, or she actually does feel bad, like kind of likes Cheaty. But that could just be the level of double acting. Uh, then that's when we're at the party. Cheaty and Pavita are there. And uh, they run into Pedro and Angelique. Uh, 
Oh, the fun continues. Nay, increases, Pedro. Or, uh, uh, Chidi says, uh, and he says, Oh, hey, Angelique, you look normal. Uh, maybe I need a drink, a lot of drinks. So, holy cow. And so he says, uh, Excuse me, because I can't decide between red or light, red or white wine. And Pavita says, You know in your heart which wine you want. Uh, he says, excuse me, I'll be back. Uh, he does, He starts drinking something on the rocks. We see Denise. She says, hello. Uh, what are you limping for? Oh, I run the pizza shop. Crazy story. She tries to do her backstory. Then Angelique comes up. Uh, she says, hey, Chidi. How you doing? Well, this is awkward for sure. Stomachs and knots, uh, you know, standard paradise. Uh, that's uncomfortable. Because I think Pedro knows that you think we're soulmates. Uh, I mean, she's talking around it. Uh, and he, but he, she just says, yeah, if I feel this way. And she goes, we can't talk about it. Uh, and he goes, but the numbers are so close. I think it is. Uh, and she goes, don't make it harder than it is, Cheedy. That's when Eleanor hears Cheedy, so the camera goes wide. We see Eleanor. She passes her shots. Uh, hey, is your name Cheedy? He says, she goes, yeah, you're not a soup, eh? And uh, she says, uh, hey, let, let's just talk. You know, at play, come on, I'm looking for you. She brings him into a room. He goes, yeah, I got a lot going on here. She goes, yeah, well, uh, I got this secret note here. Some robot lady gave it to me. Janet? Oh, yeah, that lady. Uh, and then Janet appears. She says, buzz off, Janet. Okay. This is my handwriting, but I don't. I haven't written this. Uh, that's your name, right? So for some reason I made this note and put it in her mouth. Why would I do that? Whoever her name is. You forgot her name? Yeah, no, yeah. Her name's Janet. Uh, Fork off. Uh, so things are weird here. Something's going on. Uh, people are trying to, you know, give me a drink, and uh, my soulmate it takes off. Uh, I got a gear from a Zen master. So the only person I trust is me. Something strange is going on. I told me to find you. So what's the deal? What's happening? And Chidi says, I don't know. I can't deal with this right now. I've got my own problems. And he runs off. And then they say, Eleanor, speech time. And she says, please, amu amulet from the wizard, uh, get me out of this speech. We go to commercial. We come back. Tahani opens her eyes, takes a breath through her nose. Michael calls her in. You're in the good place? Of course I am. Uh, so surprised. Uh, what, what are the chances? But I accept. Uh, here's Tomas. He's not as tall as she would like him to be, but he was a doctor from the International Rescue Alliance that she funded or secured funding for. He's also, he's in a T-shirt and a, uh, what is that, a fleece. Uh, she has a couple Freudian slips. He rolls with it, though, and just smiles along. He gulps a little bit, though. He's got hiking boots on and jeans. Uh, then we see kind of they got this nice little A-frame house, more of a bungalow. Tahani's like, this is so cozy. Uh, I feel like the walls are hugging me. Tomas says, this is absurd, Michael. Uh, this place is... Uh, and then, too big. Uh, no, no, yeah, it's too big. Uh, and she says, what? Uh, okay, we'll get rid of the second floor. Make it even cozier. And I'll see you at the party. And she goes, well, it certainly is quaint. She, she, it's, it's quaint for her. She bumps her head on the lamp. Uh, it's charming. Then she sees a self-portrait of her sister. And Tomas says, oh, she was a heroine at the hospital. We play her music all the time uh, for my patients. It was like she was helping through her music. Uh, she really is a heroine. Uh, 
and then they're going to get changed. He's like, I'm wearing what I'm wearing now to the party. Uh, no, no need to dress up, uh, you know, comfort over style. And she goes, you should wear whatever you prefer. And she goes, well, we are soulmates. Uh, so maybe I should dress down. Then they show her she's got cargo pants and jean jacket on. She's very uncomfortable. Now I used to be dressed like a plumber s uh, or a to- toilet sweep. That was the other one. Toilet sweep. Uh, in any case, that's how I'm dressed. Uh, he goes, feel the breeze from your crocs on your feet. That's why they have holes in them. And then he he says, let me get us a drink. Uh, Michael comes over. Hi, having a great time. Uh, okay, well, if you need anything, you know, I could change anything you want at all. Because uh, she says, well, some things are suboptimal. He goes, well, you're the only one uh, that uh, has uh, problems. And she hasn't clicked yet. Uh, but with her soulmate, so she gets a little more down and down. He goes, yeah, it's common. It's just, a, you're just adjusting to this new life. Uh, but you're matched with Tomas. The system is never wrong. This is a good place. Uh, if you want a bigger house, you know, you could ask for something, you know, even b- bigger, big as a moon. Uh, no one else does, but you could. And she goes, this, no, it's fine. I'm here in paradise. No changes needed. He goes, well, just ask. You know, no one else asks for anything. So everybody else is happy. But uh, you can make whatever requests you wish. Nothing too frivolous, okay? And uh, she's down, makes a frowny face, goes to the bar. That's when Eleanor heads off after Chidi, passes the shots to, to Hani. And then Glenn shows up. So I guess she does the shots because Glenn's saying, cargo pants, buddies. Uh, yeah, this is so funny. There's so many jokes in there. So she does, yeah. She says, okay. Uh, then Mike says, speech time. And Eleanor says, please get me out of this speech. She goes out to make the speech, uh, stands in front of the shrimp tower. Everybody claps. Michael's pretty pleased, and she says, anyway, you know, starts off a speech, uh, dic- 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 dictionary defines, and then Tahani rolls up on stage, starts shouting, I'm T- Tahani, Tahani is me, not the number one point getter. She's really good, too, over the top, but in a good way. You all have your regular size pockets, uh, regular size soulmates, uh, and Michael says, can you get her off the stage? Uh, and she goes, we're all good people, right? Uh, we all did the right thing whenever we could. That's why, it's, you know, I'm in this house. I want this house. Uh, just kidding. No, I really do want this house. Uh, and Eller says, hey, come on, let's go. Out. Let's get some coffee. And then Tahani falls into the shrimp table. Tries to, Well, she tries to take the sash off after she says, uh, Terrible placement and angle. Is that your first sash? Eleanor's like, actually, it is. Uh, uh, bar goes down. Her table goes down. I got her off the stage. Go to a cut. This is Jason's sequence. His eyes open. He reads the sign. Jean, you come on in. And he goes, oh, you took a vow of silence. You want to remain silent? So he goes, uh-huh, uh-huh. I mean, nods his head like that. Uh, sure. Then they go to his yurt. Everybody's got a soulmate. You actually have a best bud, though, which is unique. Uh, his eyebrows go up when he says best bud. A spiritual connection that transcends the physical realm. What? Uh, best bud? Whoa, cool, man. He smiles, even. So they go into the yurt. Uh, Luang's there. Another monk uh, from Nepal. And uh, you guys have identical souls orbiting one another in reflective harmony. 
No, you'll never be alone ever, ever again. You'll be right next to each other forever. And at first, Jason says, okay, this is a little uncomfortable, but, uh, and Michael says, I'm sure you got not a lot to talk. Well, anyway, goes out, uh, and Jason eats. Luong kind of copies him. And I, I can't tell if they're having rice. Uh, then he makes a, a comedy rock garden thing. He's pretty pleased. Uh, and uh, he's getting fed up. They go for a bike ride. He's getting more fed up. Um, and then he sends Luong off to get some kites for them to do some kite flying. That's when he makes his move on Luong's bike. Uh, Hands a piece to Eleanor because he bumps into her. And he, he says, she says, are you cheaty? And he just hands her the, the thing. That's when Michael shows up. What are you doing? Uh, oh, that's Gianu. She goes, oh, I'm just getting to know everybody. He takes off. Uh, but, of course, it doesn't make a difference Like because, uh, I don't know, superpowers or whatever they have there. He thinks he got away. He goes through like a bamboo grove, uh, but Luong's waiting for him. They go back to eating. Now Jason's a little bit more down. Then they're at the party. How about some drinks? Yak milk? Uh, but he also says, Janet can get you anything you want just to ask. Uh, of course, you don't need anything because you're perfectly content as monks. Uh, he says, enjoy. She hands them the milk. Uh, Jason frowns. Uh, sees Eleanor pouring some shots. Uh, makes a face. Takes, <laughs> this is, you gotta see it. You gotta rewatch this episode. Then it's speech time again. Uh, we see, you know, the sequence with Tahani. Uh, and, uh, Eleanor saying it got her off the stage and Michael, oh no, Tahani, how are you? Oh, never better. Top of my game. That's when Jason sneaks out of the party. Cause Luong's distracted by the shrimp, uh, in Tahani's pocket. I got a pocket full of shrimp tonight. You know, remember that song from the eighties or the nineties? Uh, then we cut to Michael getting ready to talk to Sean. How's it going? Great. Uh, it's going perfect. Uh, everything's rolling. Won't let you down. Don't worry. Uh, then we go another recap of, uh, hey, can you do a speech with Michael and Eleanor? How can I say no? Oh, so then the walls are hugging me. Tahani says, can't believe it. Michael laughs. Uh, two yaks milk for the monks. We have the soulmates. Uh, we have the soulmates, so then uh, the soulmates give uh, uh, Michael a thumbs up. Uh, that's when Vicky wants to talk to Michael. You know, I used to be the real Eleanor, and now I'm Denise. Uh, this isn't a role. He says, Denise is a great role. She's got a great arc over the next 80 years. You have the best pizza place in the neighborhood. And a cat, that's cool. I couldn't tell if Eleanor can listen in on this, but I don't think so. She's got a, I really like the print of her dress or gown, too. And again, M Michael's listening to her. He's, they're both using really good body language. Watching this on mute is, uh, and then I love the line, I'm a Ferrari. You don't keep a Ferrari in the garage. And he says, don't worry, you got something. Why don't you come up with some token thing? And she goes, okay, what about a limp? I'll have a story, something that makes me stand out. And he goes, fine, fine, okay, a mysterious past and a limp, but whatever it is, uh, limp your heart out. So that's when she runs into Cheaty. Hey, you're Cheaty. Why are you limping? Michael's very pleased. Uh, but they're like, we can't get Eleanor to drink. Uh, and he goes, wait a second, Eleanor's not drinking? She drank during her driver's test. Uh, all right, we had to keep things moving. I'll make her talk for an hour, and then that'll push her over the edge. Uh, then we have Tahani, uh, her over-the-top sequence. 
So she goes down. I think this is when Chidi makes a beeline. Let's see. Eleanor's watching. Jason leaves. Uh, oh, J- J- T- uh, Chidi says, hey, I want to talk to you. He goes, you know what? I know the book. Uh, she goes, are you trying to pay, pay a nerd pickup line? He goes, I know that book, uh, What We Owe Each Other. He goes, how's a professor of ethics and moral philosophy brag much? Uh, so he goes, we must know each other, even though we've never met before. And then she goes, it's not that I'm not not interested, uh, but let's get this figured out. Then Michael and the team have a thing. They go, okay, so everybody can't find anybody. It's not going good. He takes his glasses off even. Says, come on, uh, what are we going to do? We can't build a chaos sequence uh, if she thinks she belongs here, you ding dong. And then he's kind of, they say, okay, we can't find Eleanor, can't find Chidi, can't find Jason. How did you lose all the people? That's what you're supposed to do. And uh, Michael's getting really irritable. Eleanor's soulmate, you know, says he shows up from the gym. Why aren't you with Eleanor? I told her I was going to the gym. You keep saying that over and over again? You told me to. No, I didn't. Uh, he said, yes, yeah, she tries to confess you were supposed to avoid her. He goes, that was an example. So Michael's getting more and more, you know, chuffed, I would say. How many times did you tell her you're going to the gym? Five? No, nine times. Uh, So then, yeah, he goes, this is not what I signed up for. I liked my old job better than this. Uh, And it wasn't as a quarterback. And then everybody starts agreeing, like, Michael's really messing this up. Uh, Then he says, I'm going to the gym for real. And he goes, okay, everybody, let's just find the four humans. Now, he says, uh, so he's really good. Wow, he really is. So then we have Chidi and Eleanor at her place. Chidi's pacing. You trying to get a personal best on your Fitbit? He goes, this is like a tremendous amount of information. Uh, you're not supposed to be here. You and I met here. Somehow we met before. We would have been advanced lessons because uh, she goes, were you a good person? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I drank almond milk. So, of course, I'm going to be here in the bad place. Uh, or I'm not supposed to be in the good place. Uh, and she goes, well, we better figure it out. That's a commercial. That's, then we have Jason meet up with uh, with Janet. Uh, he tells her he's not a silent monk. He's a DJ from Jacksonville named Jason. And I'm supposed to, Michael tells me I'm supposed to be a monk. I'm supposed to have a best friend and uh, live in a yogurt. Uh, she goes, you're, oh, yeah, you're for short. Uh, he goes, but he won't leave me alone. And I already have a best friend, actually, Pillboy. And he goes, can I live with you? She goes, oh, I live in a boundless void. Uh, so, yeah, Jason's talking about his uh, best friend, Pillboy. And, uh, you know, that he doesn't want to go back to his yogurt or a yurt. And they can't, you know, can't go with Janet because she lives in a bo- boundless void. But she does do, do this great piece of, uh, I guess that's reflective listening. She says, there's certain aspects of your existence here in the good place that are confusing. And you're searching for some place where you'll feel less lonely. And she goes, I know. And then he hugs her. She says, what's that? Uh, and he says, you're my friend. Uh, you help me. You're nice to me. And she says, okay. She gives him a very robotic hug back. And then we see the Scanlan. Chidi's reading the note. He says, this is, you know, intense stuff. So either you ripped the page out of a random book or we were working together for a long time. And then Michael comes in, Eleanor hides the notes, and he says, oh, so happy you two met. I'm just apologizing for all the commotion earlier. And they say, oh, yeah, totally, totally. First night in the afterlife could be tough. Don't worry about us, Michael. He says, okay. He says, Chidi, why don't you head home? It's late. Uh, 
And then Tahani comes in with the sash to apologize. I want to stop and give you your sash back. Give you your, don't give me any sash back, please. Uh, but she says, yeah, I made a fool of myself, uh, stained my cargo pants, which are comfortable, praising off the rack separate. So no. And then Michael says, we better go. It's, it's late here. She goes, something is off. Uh, Chidi and Eleanor exchange a look. Her soulmate comes and Eleanor goes, okay, this is definitely suspect here. Uh, then Chidi's soulmate comes in. And then Michael's still again trying to maintain control. Let's get out of here. Then uh, Jason comes in with Janet. She says, Jason needs to talk to you privately. Oh, really? Okay, bye. Eleanor says, this, this is the wise monk. This could be the key to the mystery. Luan comes in, and Michael's totally lost control. Let's go back to the yurt, and Jason says, homie, no. He says, this guy's supposed to be my best friend. He's not my best friend. Is uh, from Jacksonville named Pillboy, and we used to have fun together, and this guy is not fun. <laughs> More jokes in there. Eleanor says, okay. Then Eleanor's uh, his soulmate comes in. She says, yeah, what are you? And he can't, he goes, takes his shirt off right away and says, got to get back to the gym. Then everybody's confused. And then Eleanor breaks it down. This is not the good place. Michael's forking with us. And, and Jason says, like a prank show? Oh, yeah, perfect analogy. It's a prank show we've been on before. I had a note. Uh, I put it in Jackie's mouth. Uh, no, Janet, Chidi says. Correct. Uh, Michael does his laugh. Uh, I guess Eleanor Shellstrap. you got to be kidding me. Can't believe you pulled a trick on me. And I'm impressed with your thinking. But next time, uh, you know, because I was... I'm relieved because I didn't realize, uh, I couldn't figure out why everything went bad so quickly. But next time, you won't be so lucky. Next time. And she goes, yeah, he's going to do it again. She tries to put it in her mouth. He goes, that's not going to work. Uh, Don, he says, this is unacceptable. I'll speak to your superior. And then some Michael snaps. Everything goes white. And then he says, third time's a charm for the team meeting. And he definitely is losing his people here. He goes, "As my," uh, uh, he goes, "Don't worry, no note this time. Couldn't have seen that coming." He's got a giant purple lavender bow tie. He checks, make sure Janet doesn't have any notes. Janet's in a little bit a different outfit, a smarter. What is that? Teal? A teal? Teal? I, I don't know. And she, her hair's in a. Um, I don't know. Is that a bun? I don't know what haircuts are called. And then Amy O says, have you talked to uh, Sean? Michael goes, oh, totally. I checked in with Sean. He knows all about it. Very supportive. Uh, and then he says, any more questions? And he ignores Vicky, who's trying to ask a question. He goes, okay, let's get out there and do it. Then he starts recording himself. Uh, testing one, two, three. Sean FaceTimes in. And he goes, you're supposed to give me an update, Michael. Michael goes, oh, boy, is it going good. Holy cow. Chaos is going totally great. Uh, better than the first time. Eleanor did exactly what we thought. Uh, even, even behaved worse than the first one. And he goes, everything's on track. Smooth as silk. Everything's great. Uh, they sing, sneak in a couple more jokes. Uh, and uh, he goes, yeah, we're doing things old-fashioned way back here, but good luck with attempt number two, because there will be no attempt number three. And there's a pause on Michael. He thinks about it. Then he calls Eleanor in for attempt number three. And the episode comes to a close. Uh, so good night, and we'll see you soon in the good place. All right, I want to thank everybody signed up for a referral program recently. And then uh, those people that are already sharing the show. So I think I want to thank Pam, who's got one referral. And then Autumn, Laura, and Rain, who are just getting started. Uh, Jill, 
Shashreet and Jamie are just getting started. Uh, Dorota, Jesse, and Henrika, they're getting started. Justin's going to have five uh, uh, shares. Uh, Lucia, uh, James, and Karen, thanks, thanks, and good night. Amy, Alexis, uh, thanks, and good night. Leslie's got three shares going, thanks. And actually, they're not shares, they're actually new listeners. Uh, so thank you, uh, Mohammed, Miguel, and... Uh, Marie, thanks, thanks, and good night. Ashwin, Sarah, and Courtney, thanks, thanks, and good night. Uh, Catherine and Carrie, thanks, thanks, and good night. Kit's got a uh, first uh, share or new listener, thanks, and good night. Uh, Lisa and Amy, thanks, thanks. Uh, Anna has one share already. Nadra, Deirdre, and Amy, thanks, thanks, and good night. Eleanor, Miranda, and Rebecca. Just getting started too. Ava Hazel, thanks, thanks, and good night. Alice W's got one share. Susie, Eula, and Mary Lou, thanks so much for sharing. Natasha's got a share, thank you. Uh, Eden, Allison, and Denise, thanks, thanks. Tanya's got nine, holy cow. Thanks, Tanya. Paige, Georgie, getting started. Suzette's already got three. So thanks, everybody, for signing up for a referral program and referring listeners. It really, really does mean mean so much to the show. Let me just check through here. Anybody else I can thank? I love thanking listeners, uh, really. Uh, let's see, Courtney, Helen, and Corey are all getting started. Uh, Stacy and Allison and Corinne are just getting started. Kelly's got two. Uh, Helen. Uh, Jade and Kay getting started. Deb and Janet getting started. Drawers got one. Cheryl's got one. Hallmark, uh, Julia and James getting started. Marie, Maureen, Shannon and Rose and Myrna all getting started. Uh, Nora's got two. Paul and Cher and Margaret getting started. Chloe's got one. Una's getting started. Candy is getting started. Anna's got one. Rebecca, Nikki, and May getting started there. Uh, thanks, everybody. So, yeah, thanks, everybody, for being part of our referral program and being a part of the show. Uh, oh, you can sign up at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash refer. Thanks so much. And, uh, yeah, I'm here to uh, help you fall asleep. Thanks.